Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lever, joined here with my cat named Binky. He's on my bed. Uh, let's get started with our next campaign. So, uh, people were not disappointed by the territorial exchanges and gains and losses from me in working with the peace conference. I will say, however, I do believe, and I have been convinced, that... Uh, I'm not going to try to liberate as many countries as before. Uh, but let's take for South America, for example. I can make these. These are basically my colonies. These Brazilian states are my colonies. I don't see myself giving these to Brazil or anyone else anytime soon. So I'm probably going to keep those. Uh, let's see, Spain. Honestly, I think having Spain being directly ruled under me is actually re really of an awesome idea. So I think I'm going to keep them unpuppeted. So if I can take off Spain or Iberia... It's just a naturally rightful part of our uh, United States. It's obviously a natural part of the United States of Greater Austria. That being said, I will try to give some more territory to my puppets, and maybe even my allies as well. Uh, concerning this, I probably, I'll probably i probably take all this from the Turks when we're done. Of course, we're still at war with the Turks. Yeah, stuff, places like Serbia, they don't really have very much to offer. How many divisions do I need here for these nine things? Twelve. I need twelve things here. Uh, you know what, Serbia? Oh. You really don't need those divisions since you're so small and weak anyways. Don't really see you being very necessary at the moment. So, I'm just going to take all your boys. And someday we might integrate the Serbians into our empire if it gets into like 1950 or something. Maybe I'll integrate them, maybe I won't. We'll see what happens. Hmm... Ukraine has a lot of divisions. Obviously, the Ukraine, as well as the Russians, have a ton of divisions. Finland, Norway, Sweden. I would have preferred to unite Scandinavia under one country, but I think that's still a bug or something. I'm not really sure. Regardless, though, let's still have a good old time. Well, let's do that, I guess. Can I do this? Yeah, that'd be good to do that. 13. I oh, they're guarding the coast as well, which is actually extremely good. Let's see. Anywhere... Else, who are we fighting? Because I was, uh, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, like I said in the last episode, I was playing Fur Reich, and they had a mod update like two days ago at this point when this video releases, so two days ago, and I stayed up way too late playing that mod. Oh my god, it was just very, very interesting seeing what, um, what I could do with the game. Let's see, uh, Romania, do you have any soldiers down here? Not really. I want to take some of your soldiers as well, since you are my puppet. Take another. That sounds, that sounds fair. Balanced. Yeah, you're my uh, Vienna Guard. These are the v Viennese Guards. The Royal Viennese Guards. Ah, love it. You know, you really don't need that general there. But whatever, let's continue killing the Ottomans. With the great, great soldiers of Ukraine, as well as our tanks. Alright, this is our main armies. Yeah, that's good. Back oh, we have four backup divisions. Uh, backup divisions. Uh, I don't know if I trust the Germans that much, so let's go guard Praha and Pilsen. So I didn't change anything between the Entente as well as the Reich's Pact right now. I'm going to give them a little bit more time to settle with their countries first, make sure that everything under them is very stable before I may influence change. I'll put it like that. What what is what are the Germans up to? Fortify Bastenach alone. Can they go to war with the Entente? Dream of Pan Europa, another reinsurance treaty. They might go to war with us. Requires, oh, they have that. Let's see, send aid to Bulgaria, deepish Poland ties, bring back order. They, they, I feel, I feel like they might attack us. Yeah, there's nothing really here for them. Well, maybe they might actually go to war with us. Oh, Austria out of its misery. And I, I am going to try to put more soldiers of my puppets on the front line. How about the UK? Is the UK or the Canadians the leader of the Entente? I'm going to assume it's the Canadians. Uh, no. Root out cynicism, end of the BRA. Rebuilding the Empire would be interesting. Irish policy, war cabinet, governor, Empire Act. They can't really go to war with anybody. How about Canada? Can they go to war with me or Germany? Halifax Project. Doesn't look like it. Reinforce the Empire. Return of the King. God save Canada. Treaty with Germany. Attack the Union of Britain. Well, we'll see what happens. Maybe they'll go to war. Maybe they'll go to war with me. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But we're going to leave them alone for now. So we were moving our soldiers down here for some reason. 
So we're fighting in the mountains, which is never a good place to fight. But that's okay. That's definitely okay. And we are experiencing some Kaiserreich lag. Oof. Well, we got a lot of we got a lot of things, for supplies and stuff. We've got tons of guns, tons of motorized, tons of support equipment. We need more tanks. We need bombers. Ooh, we can. Oh, finally, thank God. Uh, let's get rid of that, 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 and that, and that. And then some close air support. Good, we can finally make some oil stuffs. It is almost 1943. Happy almost 1943, everyone. Let's go ahead and get some better construction. And. Konya. Oh, we were building. Yeah, we don't need that. Uh, I'll keep that that uh, naval base, though. Let's get some oil if we can. Start producing some synthetic oil. Good. That'll be nice. Alright, so the tank's definitely injured by the attrition here. So we could probably do that. Still trying to produce some dis advanced destroyers, but not battleships. I need to make more naval dockyards. Ooh. So, you guys are all here. Alright. Take you to help out if you can as well. Send the cavalry in there too, why not? Good, we're not attacking over river. We're just going to take more territory if we can. Lotar, I thought I already checked you. Yeah, you don't have any upgrades for me. Level 5, pretty good. Carl Egelseer. Tricky Carl. Ooh, actually. Improved expert advice, but we'll wait on that. We'll wait. Nice, we took it. Very good. Very, very good. Let's see. We want to bust over here, though. Let's see where we can bust next. Let's see. Keep, keep expanding the front line, maybe a little bit. Shouldn't be too bad if we do that. Suffering from a little bit of attrition. Mounds are terrible to fight in. Keep spreading out their front line as much as we can. Might not be a good idea, but it's still an idea. How is the air power looking? Not bad, not bad, actually. Let's see. Enter for the fighters, good. We'll add you to here. <clears throat> do we have any close air support or bombers? Yes, we do. Yeah, we actually do. Map out the groups here. And... Do that, and we'll put you under... Uh, let's bounce it out. We'll just give you... Oh. Those guys. Good, 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 good. We got those, that area. I want to try to make an encirclement here, though, if we can. I doubt it. Oh, and the Torah Confederation was annexed. Good. Good for the French, I suppose. I don't really care about them. I'm going to take those guys out, too. Hmm. Seems like a lot of divisions around here. I need to attack from at least two spots at a given time. Probably this one right here. We'll do that next. Oh, okay, Russia, you're doing a freaking phenomenal job, like always. God, I love Russia. I need to really expand Russian interests, because they're doing so well for me. They're the ones who landed here in Antalya first, and they invet and then they invaded over here, and why did you invade, or want to invade Georgia? Wow. They're fighting the Reichs Pact, as well as the Dorno Adriabund, Georgia, uh, the Ottomans are now. Wait, or is that Georgia? No, no. The Georgia's fighting the Reichs Pact alone. With against the Ottomans. But now the Ottomans are fighting Georgia as well as us. This is super weird. Super, super weird. Alright, tanks. Go ahead if you can. You might need a little boost to actually attack here. Especially with the Russians just demolishing everybody. I mean my god, I love Russia. Just you know, Russia, you were the best thing that has ever happened to Austria at this for this year at least. For this for this war. Go ahead and help him out here. We're going to kill off this pocket. Yeah, whatever. No one cares. Uh, are we missing equipment? Close air support. Oh. Hmm. Really care about that. Can't even make any. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh's lax ground support plan. Good, good, good. Skoda could do. We're all done down there. Tank trials. Rocket technology. Air doctrine. Let's go with air doctrine. Awesome. So I want all of you to focus on this front. I want all of you, who are actual Austrian soldiers, to go ahead and invade this last little piece of territory if you can. I want you all, 
your U4 division to start here. Start taking them out. Just go right ahead. These guys will get worn down, tired out, all that good stuff. You attack here, because they shouldn't be getting too many uh, supplies if our guys are trying to break through this little massive encirclement. That would be good. That would be very good. They call them Egypt, that's fine. So after this, you know, I think the beginning of the next episode, I will definitely make sure that the Reichspact and Anton go to war with each other. At the end, I want to see if I can either beat, as Austria with my allies, a Mega Reichspact or a Mega Entente. I mean, obviously the Entente is already pretty mega, pretty mega in itself, but a Mega Reichspact would be interesting to fight as well. Let's see. Ooh, another tank division. Very good. Ooh, better decryption. That's what we definitely need. Uh, it's 1943. Good, good nuclear stuff. I could wait, though. Some better output. I need more tanks. Definitely a lot more tanks. Holy crap. Uh, Iran's been, they've been finally called in, alright. Uh, Julius! Do you have anything? Julius? Julius? No? Alright. Uh, let's see, how are our ships? Yes. Not bad, not bad. Could be, could definitely be better, but... Definitely not as bad as uh, how many ships I lost last night playing Fur Reich. Ooh, I forgot about my ships and they all died. Oh, well, not all of them. A lot of them died, but they, they still won regardless. Ooh, it's like an enemy destroyer. Very good, very, very good. Our tanks definitely will need a break, though. Ooh. Come on, crush these. How many divisions are here? Nine? It was ten. Good. And, you know what, let the Ukrainians go on ahead, because I don't want all the Russians to get all the glory here. Good. Awesome. Uh, United States, French Republic, what are you doing? What are you doing? Please don't cancel your non-aggression packs. Oh, God. This is not good. Right, so, uh, they're all canceling their non-aggression pact. Arabia's at war with us. Germany, do you want an alliance? <clears throat> this isn't looking particularly good for us. Let's see, I definitely need more oil. Romania has a little bit more oil for me. Uh, let's see. It's better. Venezuela, Mexico. Oh, with well, the Ottomans, once we get them, I can get my oil fix as well. No, not really. Steel. Ah, that's where the steel problem's coming from. Oh, wait. Russians. I'll get a little bit less steel. Good. So, my Austrians are done, which is good and dandy. However, I don't really trust the Entente. Do I have any borders with the Entente? I kind of do down here in Spain. Uh, anywhere else on Europe? No, which is good. Actually, I kind of want to add... I really, as the Austrians, as since I'm claiming the country of Spain, I also kind of want to claim the former Habsburg Lowlands, or Benelux region. All of the Benelux region. Hmm. But that'll be uh, for a different day. Wait. Yeah. They're still part of the donut. If you're going good, I don't want to send like a full army just to Spain to say, hey, no, back off. But that could put them out of harm's way. Yeah, let's do that maybe. That'll be good. I'm definitely going to need more soldiers for the coast here. You can stop garrisoning the entire coast. However, I will need people garrisoning all of this, especially Gibraltar. That'll be extremely important. Oh, we, we actually have a border with the Greeks, who are part of the Entente. Yemen's our enemy. Uh, Sweden, good job. Good job, Sweden. You know what, I'm going to let the Ukrainian divisions do their job. I'm going to let my tanks hold out on this, just because they got hit pretty hard. They need a little bit of a break. We're out of 1.3 million uh, units of tanks anyways. That would be good. Very good. The Russians, the Swedish people are doing so good for me. Let's see, I've got my other soldiers here. Not doing very much. I really don't want to go to war with the Reichspack, because that means I have to fight through the French Kingdom as to just get connected to my Spanish territories. I think going to war with the Entente... I need them to go kill each other off, to be honest. <clears throat> I'm thinking that as well. The next faction that we would have a reasonably good chance of killing 
is Mongolian Khanate, or the Great Khanate at this point. What are their statistics like? Occupy Yunnan, quite a bit of manpower, not a lot of divisions actually. Not an extensive conscription. If we add the Mongolians to our alliance, that would open up a ton more territory for Russia to expand, have more influence, have literally more legit core population, and would provide us a good entry into Asia if we needed to use it. Because at this point, once we're done with the Ottoman inner puppets, we will be on the border of Afghanistan, the Dominion of India. Hmm, I'm actually thinking that might be a really good idea to do. I'm thinking I'm liking this idea. I think I'm really liking this idea. Go ahead and kill anything that moves in the water idea. Uh, how is this going? Making a few more factories. Yeah, a lot more factories. Yeah, we're going to need to trade a lot. For everything that we'll need. I'm going to need a lot more divisions, though. You're garrisoning this. Oh, we need to stop garrisoning that. We need more divisions. Uh, Ukraine, I need some more divisions. That's, oh my god, they have a lot. I want to request 18. Why 18? So I can fill this guy back out. That is good. Uh, go ahead. Hey, I'm, I've pretty much stopped really caring about how my soldiers fight. I'm just telling them to go since I don't really care that much about them. Uh, I love all my people equally. Just some more equally than others. Uh, we're trying, still trying to get this province, which is not good. That's fine, though. The Turks will fall soon enough. So my soldiers here... You know what? Just in case... I'm going to put him on the border with Germany. You never know what might happen. I need someone to guard that. You guys are guarding the border against the Greeks or the Entente, really. You guys are guarding the border against the Entente over here. Very good. I think this is very, very good so far. I'm going to need an army to kill off the Mongolians. And that would definitely give us more access to Asia and just expand Russia. I really want someone to kill off the Don Kuban Union, and that might just be me. Actually, that will probably just be me. Especially, are they fighting? I think they're currently fighting a war. Are they fighting anybody? They are. Oh, they're fighting the Reichspath. That's that's right. They're fighting the German Chinese right now and the Burmese because they're in the Reichspact as well. So our goal would just be come in, swoop in from behind them, and just uh, make sure that they never existed. Just like what they did to a lot of people before. I love it. So I'll probably use the Ukrainian divisions to attack that direction. Oh, oh wait, two Sicilies, you canceled your... I'm going to need more divisions. Uh, honestly, Ukraine, give me another... Give me a good chunk of more divisions. Since how, many, how much manpower do you have? You are on extensive conscription, you've got 300,000 manpower, 49 divisions. That's too many you have. Yeah, I'll take another 18, why not? Cool. And we'll add you to the coast, because I will need... All those divisions in Norway that are guarding the area. Come up here. Ooh, field hospitals. Very good. Good job. Let's see, we'll do that, because I'm going to need my Austrian boys to help me out with something else. Uh, Russia can... Uh, they don't really guard their own places, so I'm going to do that for myself. Anyways, just in case, if Russia doesn't figure out how to guard their own territories, that's fine. Right there, 31. Within the Straits here... Oh, we need to go to war with Denmark, too. At least do that for now, and that means I can send these divisions back home, and I'm actually going to put them on the border with two Sicilies, just in case. Let's see, research slots, 1943, uh, cap and growth, or cap and retention. I prefer growth, just so that you'll always get up to the high point if you don't mess with it too much. Oh god, who is going to go to war with us? The Reich's Pact first, or the Entente? I wish they would kill each other first. That's really what I want. Really, really what I want. Huh. Alright guys, how much longer until the Ottomans are going to capitulate? Very, very soon. That'll be great. Obviously, I'm going to take all this territory because I deserve it. I will take it, release them as a puppet. Not really sure what to give Russia. I don't think I should give them really anything. Bulgaria will get territory from Greece when we go to war with them, but this territory is too valuable near Constantinople or Tsarigrad to give to the Bulgarians. Just way too valuable. I love this march music. 
Great. Oh, here we go. So let's go ahead and just uh, oh, we liberate to a bunch. We'll just take all states. That'll be good for now. You guys will be positioned towards Persia. Oh man, with all these potential extra puppets, I could have so many armies that won't require Austrians really to be in them, and I am actually looking very forward to that. Alright, so let's see. Cyprus, uh, Levant, and Anatolia. Honestly, I, I hate the mechanic where you're basically forced to uh, liberate or get some major penalties to your ability to wage war. I really hate that. Still fighting all these people. Seems like we're not doing very much. We're still trying to reorganize, I guess. And we'll lose some territory to the Egyptians, that's okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyways, I want to get to Phoenix. Oh, if I need to do that too. Oh, that's, ah, let's do that, why not? We got time. So honestly, I'm probably going to mess with stability and war support just because I hate these penalties so much. Like Cyprus. Uh, our armies have managed to take control of Cyprus, and the island itself is now occupied by us. We have a few options in front of us. We can either puppet the island or pick it for ourselves. There's really no point to puppet it. Uh, this pe these penalties make no sense. Like, less stability and war support? I don't see how that makes sense. I know it's for balance reasons, but it just doesn't make any sense, at least to me. And I will release the Turks, though. I will release the Turks. Hmm. Yeah, I will definitely probably screw up stability and war support eventually. But that's okay. Uh... Go ahead and take everything you can, because the Egyptians are coming. Hopefully we can beat the Persians back before anything else really happens. Uh, we got all this done, good. We need more oil, so let's do that. Good. Uh, why are you guys not moving? Just go ahead and... Just go on up there, guys. Cut them off. That'll be good. At least we took out the Ottomans this episode. We are losing this quite a bit. It's not good. I need an extra army down here. I could shift soldiers away from this front for now. I will be using Austrian soldiers, but that's okay. And Russia. I'm sure Russia or Sweden will be able to crack themselves into Egypt some way, somehow. That's good. A lot of factories. For any spare factories, we can just make mechanized equipment. Screw it, because why not? Nice, we got a lot of oil. Oh, it's because I took everything over, but that's okay. That's the way it's meant to be. Yeah, because even if I try to liberate puppets, like, give my puppets territory, they will literally release puppets of their own instead of actually owning territory, which is really disappointing, to be honest. Alright, so... Uh, please stop canceling non-aggression packs, everyone. I'm gonna use my tanks now. Try to get to Cairo. Looking good, looking good. Come on, boys, just get down there. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Hmm, what do I take out? I really want the Reichs pack to win so that they will have to have a long journey to get to the United States. I don't think they'll win, though. The Reichs pack probably won't if they have to make their way to Canada, United States, and Mexico. That's pretty far away. How many more days we got with this? 28. Oh, there goes Arabia. Nice. Uh, we'll just take all states for now. Looking good. Looking very good. Ukrainians are becoming hardened, hardened soldiers. Great people. Oh, Ezekiel Schmidt falls ill. All right. Uh, we still have an ar oh, we still have an entire army down here. Let's go ahead and justify 625 days. That's okay. Annexation of the Levant. Good. That's the base. pretty good. So we're going to attack here, and then without you, we'll probably try to attack somewhere else. Send one Austrian boy this way, and send that Austrian boy this way as well. Help him out. We should be able to crack these guys. 40 wood things are pretty good, hopefully. Give them a little more crushing power. Crush them! 
Yemenese will fall. Good. Anatolia. Well. So, with the conquest of Anatolia, we have destroyed the last remnants of the Turkish state and finally put the sick man of Europe in his grave. Our troops patrol the streets of Ankara and the ancient city of Constantinople, however, we cannot remain can't remain as occupiers forever. So what are we going to do? Partition them between Kurdish and Turkish people? Nope. I'm going to say just restore the Ottoman Sultan to his throne. And they'll become a puppet. They can deal with a lot of the Middle Eastern crap that uh, I just don't want to deal with. <laughs> it looks like the Ukraine actually invaded Tripolitania. Okay, that's good. So I don't have to deal with the liberation of the Levant, hopefully, either. That being said, with, them, with us liberating these guys, that's actually... Really good. We might have just cut off some supplies to the enemy. Good. Alright, so with you, go ahead. Let's circle this small batch here. Good. Uh, good, 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 good. So that got rid of the Levant. Now we have to do the annexation of Arabia. I would love just to give Arabia all to the Ottoman Empire. But that probably won't work very well for us. Probably. Yeah, if we guys could attack this direction, that would be great, just so that they cannot move. <gasps> Ooh, Masonic Liberia declared war on the French Republic. Are you part of the Reich's Pact? Darn it! You're not! Dang it. That would have been fun. That would have been so much more fun. That's okay, though. I know it's attacking over river, but I don't want them to get any supplies. No supplies, please. Not for you. Oh, good. My tanks have make it, made it around. Good little liberation circle. And, oh, I need to switch this up as well. Uh, it's not bad. They're led by Ali Skuru Passa. Passa. But, of course, they're not keeping this. Mark. This stuff is just a little bit too important to me to get to the Turks. Besides, they tried to siege Vienna down in, like, the 17th century a few times. I mean, this is righting the old wrongs. Turks are not Europeans, and there's no way my video will now be found in the search bar anymore. Because of that. Or maybe in the trending page, or whatever. Whatever page it is. Regardless. Oh god, this is just... Wait, what? Um... That's, uh, this is disgusting. I don't know... Why I had that. There you go. Let's see. Do the Turks have claims? Saudi Arabia does. Arabia does. Oh, good. Oh, uh, good. We crushed them down there. Next up is... Here. Cut off the other forces. Ukrainians are doing a great, great job. Let's see, how are the, are the Ukrainians on this side doing? Don't be as crazy anymore, since it's not really working out for you so well. Oh, but do you, Ezekiel, do you have a... Oh, you're an infantry expert. Good, good, good. Wilhelm Zender, he's doing all right. Alright, so with our tanks, we'll attack this way, and then down here, and cut them off. Hopefully, at least. Good. Having a great time doing so, getting rid of a lot of the Egyptian army. So anything for 1943 tech? Uh, there's a little bit. Support companies, logistics are good. Oh, tanks, yeah, let's get some better tanks. Uh, I'm not sure if you quite have it in circle materials to go down that direction, then. Make sure they can't move. Make sure the Austrians are doing a great, great job. Deutsch, uh oh, Deutsch Middle Africa declared war on one of its own self, on, its own, on itself. Uh oh, could this spell the end for Deutsch Middle Africa? Potentially. Who's leading it right now? Jörg Kraut. I love that hat, man. That's awesome. Hmm. All right. Well, good luck, guys. Ah, yes, the little sliver of the Middle East that no one really cares about. Then again, is there really a big part of the Middle East that anyone really cares about? I don't think so. I don't think so. Alright, so with this in mind, it looks like you guys have a pretty good shot of just going going all in. Let's go ahead and just go to Cairo. Don't worry about that dirt patch there. Uh, who is not giving me my daily goods? No, that's good. Sweden. Sweden, that's not cool, man. Ah, uh, flexible navy. Fleet and being. I do fleet and being, don't I? 
I almost always do fleet and being at this point. Yeah, I do. I do fleet and being. So let's do that. That would be good. Yes. Good, good, good. Oh, trying to break across here will be a kind of a pain in the butt. Annexation of Arabia. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna liberate Arabia. Oh, well, maybe I could give it to Russia. I don't know. Maybe I should I give it to somebody? Because even if I do give it away, my puppets will unfortunately um, just liberate the country under them, which is not cool. Not cool. Which is pretty garbage, to be honest. Oh, at least, good job, Italy, you landed there. Hmm. So, I mean, obviously, I don't think we're going to be able to take out... Yeah, we definitely won't be able to take out everyone in this episode uh, that uh, is at war with us. But we're getting close. We're getting pretty darn close. I mean... Persians aren't doing super well. Uh, we took out the Turks. They are they are now on our side. We have greatly expanded the Dona Adria Boon, both north, east, and south. Just not west. Not too much west. Just a little bit, though. Just a little bit. Come on, guys. You got this. Come on. So, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Yeah, it's the Middle East. It's taking longer than I anticipated, but, you know, some things, some ideas are always like that. So, with that in mind, guys... Please let me know on your opinion on what I should do with this area called Arabia, and ultimately Yemen and Iran. I think I'm going to liberate Iran, just because that will give us a good base to strike into wherever we need. But Arabia? Maybe I should own it directly. Maybe I shouldn't. Leave your comments, comments below. Thank you very much for watching, though. Subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you tomorrow, like I always do. Like the vid if you liked it. Like the vid if you disliked it. And I will, like I said, have a good day playing Furry. Thanks for watching again.